Whoa, hey guys, um, <laughs> this is Elliot. Um, I'm going to be reading from Philippians 3, and I really hope that um, this word speaks to people just because I dread doing these videos, I dread public speaking, but this came together very quickly, and I think it's simple but poignant. So we're going to double up. We're going to do just two quick verses. Um, we're going to do Philippians 3, 1, and then uh, verse 7. So... Philippians 3.1 says, Further, my brothers and sisters, rejoice in the Lord. Period. Rejoice. That's not a term that we hear very often. You're thinking, really, you're going to stop there? Yeah, I am. <laughs> if you Google the word rejoice, it means to feel or show great joy or delight. And like, if you think about that for a second, just like let this marinate, all right? Question for you. What things have you rejoiced in recently? Was it a promotion? Was it a new car? Was it moving to a new place? Like these are all things that we think about that bring us joy and evoke some sort of emotion. But what have you rejoiced in recently? Think about that just for a second. Then stop. When was the last time you rejoiced in the Lord? And what does that mean? Like when you think about rejoicing the Lord, it's not like, I don't know about you guys, but when I think about that, it's like, huh, why would I rejoice in the Lord? But here's the cool part. Like, it's not an open-ended question. It, the rest of the verse 7 actually gives us a very, very clear reason um, to rejoice. Verse 7 says, But whatever were gains to me, I now consider loss for the sake of Christ. That's heavy. What is more, I consider everything a loss because of the surpassing worth of knowing Christ Jesus my Lord, for whose sake I have lost all all things. I consider them garbage that I may gain Christ and be found in him. Those are, that's heavy words. I don't know how that guys, uh, how that hits you, but that hits me pretty heavy because then when you think about it, you start replacing that scripture almost in a more like a statement format. Let me show you what I mean. What is more, I consider my car garbage compared to the surpassing worth of knowing Christ. I consider my house garbage compared to the surpassing worth of knowing Christ. What is more, I consider all of my possessions. My paycheck may or may not be that great. <laughs> it's garbage <laughs> compared to the surpassing worth of knowing Christ. And I think about this um, sometimes when I'm driving to work. I've got a pretty good commute, but it allows me some time to think about just, I don't know, just weighing things on a scale. Are we considering what we've accomplished. I've been working the same job for going on 10 years now. Um, and as crazy as it is to think about all the, the worth that I've brought to my company and all the projects I've completed, like if I stick them in this context, everything I've worked on for this company compared to the surpassing worth of knowing Christ, guys, it's, it's nil, trash, garbage. Um, so I hope that that encourages you in a weird way just because I know that it's easy to stress out um, about things and forget, especially as adults, it's easy to forget to show, um, just like the definition of rejoice, to show, what's the definition again? To feel or show great joy or delight. That's so easy as adults, but when you have something that your life is anchored by that's so much stronger than wealth and possessions, and it's like the scripture says, I mean, technically trash compared to um, the surpassing worth of knowing Christ. That's pretty awesome. So I just want to encourage you guys. Um, I hope that that hits home for somebody. And uh, yeah, let's just pray and close this thing out. God, I just thank you so much for all that you're doing at the Rise Church. I thank you for the surpassing worth of knowing Christ. And even in my life, God, even as I read this and do this video, um, I thank you for helping us to keep perspective and to, again, even as adults, learn and to continue um, to rejoice um, in Christ. We thank you so much um, for what you're doing, God. Amen. See you guys later.